Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome in this new video. I'm ADC SFX Works and today I'm gonna show you how to do a RAM or hard drive upgrade or replacement on the Acer Texas Instruments Extensa 355 laptop series. So these laptops are very very old. They came with Windows 95 installed and the first series of them was a simple Intel Pentium processor and uh, the next series, I have both, here's the second one, this comes with the MMX Pentium technology, so they are pretty similar but not identical. So let's start with the RAM upgrade, that is the first thing that we will gonna see. So, first of all, you have to remove the power supply cable and even the battery, because uh, if you don't remove the battery, or the power supply, uh, it, it could be damaged uh, the main board of the computer. So let's remove battery and also the power cable. So first thing done. So now you have to take down these two uh, levers here and take up the keyboard like so. So here's the keyboard and uh, you don't have to remove the keyboard, you just have to open this little compartment here even without remove the keyboard, you have these two plugs, these two things and you're gonna just remove this cover and here you have the RAM, so I will try to let you see a little better if I can, so this this is the RAM, so you can see. And now it's a very simple step, like every PC and every laptop, you have just to uh, push the levers at the side of the RAM module, so like so. Sorry if I'm covering the, the side. Okay, so here you have the RAM module, so this is this should be I think 16 megabytes of RAM so now I will just take it back in place so you see that I insert it like so and then you push it down like so so now the RAM is installed you can just take back inside the uh, compartment so be sure that it's in the right place and uh, push it down until it comes in place so this is the RAM upgrade or replacement then we're gonna see the hard drive upgrade or replacement so we're gonna close the keyboard again close the screen and then we're gonna take something to avoid scratching our laptop cover so something like this because we have to access this part of the laptop so you have to push here aside and this cover will come off so now you're gonna take a, a Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna remove these two screws here the first one and the second one so this and this now it's a bit tricky you have to push the hard drive up like so then you have to push the hard drive in the other direction and flip the hard drive like so so this is the hard drive now you just have to you see this you have to pull the pull this be careful not to damage any parts of the laptop because uh, this cable is a proprietary cable and you cannot find a cable like this anymore so damaging this cable sh uh, could be a very very big problem so this is the hard drive but it's not the hard drive it's the hard drive inside of the caddy so you have to remove the caddy actually from this hard drive and mount it on another hard drive so to remove the caddy it's a very simple operation you just have to remove these four screws so third one and fourth one and then if you lift up you have the caddy and this is the hard drive you see 
Now you take the new hard drive, I, I won't change it, I'm just doing a demonstration video now. And you take it back on the hard drive and then you take back the screws. So I advise you not to force them but leave, leave them loose and screw them all the four inside of the, well on the hard drive and then after you have all the screws then you do a slight bit of force on the screws so you fix them so now I have all the four screws and then I do this so I fix them in place and now the hard drive is inside the caddy so remember the, the place of the hard drive, don't put this in this position but in this position and it actually tells you install the HDD properly watch out for the dummy pin so here we have a dummy pin and here we have a dummy pin so you have to take the cable in this position align it perfectly with the interface on the drive so be very careful about what you are doing here because as I said if you ruin something in the cable not the hard drive because the hard drives are very common you can find uh, one or two gigabyte hard drives of uh, 2.5 uh, inches with no problems at all but the cable is a proprietary cable and you don't find it so please ve be very careful now you have just to take the hard drive in this position so you don't have to insert this part before so you just have to insert this part before inside and then push it down take this part like so like before then you just have to screw in place the two screws that we removed before so first screw and second screw like so okay so now you take back the cover like we had before and now the hard drive is installed properly so now if I power on the PC so let's remove this cardboard take the PC take the battery inside I just removed the battery as a demonstration because this battery is dead I have to buy a new one I wanted to find uh, an original one but they don't sell them anymore as you can expect it's a, a more than 20 years old laptop now so they don't sell them anymore so if I power on the PC now you will see that it powers up with no problem and it boots from the hard drive so let's start up Windows 95 on this computer starting Windows 95 maybe you can't see that because uh, we have the light so now maybe you can see yeah starting Windows 95 now Oh, I have a PC card inside. I didn't. Re I didn't remember that I had a PC card inside. Of course. So now the system is powering on, and we have even the wonderful sound of Windows 95 startup. So this is the laptop. As I said, I have two of them, but this one have Windows 98, and this is the original operating system never modified of Windows 95 in this computer so we have all the tools provided by Acer and all the things inside the wallpaper the even the OEM logo and OEM info so you can see that here we have manufactured 
and supported by Acer and support information we have an, even the support information and I love to have uh, uh, vintage laptops uh, with the original OEM operating system never modified with all the tools that we have so drivers and uh, softwares like uh, notebook manager so this can like uh, modify your bias uh, without accessing really the bias so you can modify post and boot sequence and uh, here you can view the information of your laptop it's a very nice software and I love this the series of laptops so thank you for watching this video if it has been useful for you hit the like button if uh, you didn't like it uh, hit the dislike button but uh, tell me what you think in the comments uh, so thank you once again and uh, see you in the next video.